Hello, I hope you're very well. So this video is going to be, we're going to talk about antioxidants, the power of them, and also about why vitamin A can be a very confusing and exciting conversation. So I want to try and simplify it for you and just go through a few little key questions that come up from time to time that people get a little bit stuck on or a little bit confused on. So we're going to start with our skin is a factory and it grows from the bottom. Yep, so it's got two, if you think of it like two compartments, we've got the dermis, which is a living factory. It's like the power plant. And what, what nutrition is stored in here determines on the top layers, how you look, and also on all your skin uh, concerns and problems. So when we're born, this power plant has over 90% of storage esters of vitamin A, vitamin E, and vitamin C, and they are key players. When those esters are destroyed by the environment, that can be as early as the age of 12 for most of us. Um, unfortunately, that power plant's going to start to create disease, dysfunction, abnormalities. And this is why we start to wonder why things um, are aging, why skins are inflaming, why we're getting abnormal pigmentation and oiliness and acne. The list goes on and on. So the key is you fix the nutrition level and the skin actually has the wisdom to heal itself which is kind of very very cool so if this level here is already very low in those key players don't be surprised if this level here is starting to see problems so when we're born we're born perfect so our skin cells store about 90 percent of the ester form of vitamin a so think of vitamin a it confuses people because people hear the name vitamin A and they think instantly of retinol. So this is a retinol and I definitely prescribe it, but it's not for a beginner. Yeah, so our skin's made of predominantly the storage esters of vitamin A. So they more live in AVST range and in the youth range. So the storage forms are going to um, be the most important to start and be like a building block. So you've got to build and then once you build it, you can add in the exfoliating forms. So to keep this simple, we've got vitamin A is a label. And then think of vitamin A, you get five different, they're like five different sisters. They are from the same family, but they have very different personalities. And in this case, very different jobs in the skin. So we've got retinol, which is an exfoliant, so it's an alcohol. So let's talk about the storage esters. The storage esters actually are the main fuel for your skin to function. So every abnormality on top, if it's a red vein that's dilated, if it's acne that's flared, if it's a rosacea that's popped up, it is a deficiency in the vitamin. The storage forms predominantly in the base layer of the skin. That's kind of cool to know. A lot of brands do not use storage form vitamin A for a very simple reason. They're very hard to work with and they have a short shelf life. So Environ was the first um, guys that really chased this um, dream to actually manufacture them and them to be in the plant, from plant to consumer, be fresh and active. Because vitamin A destroys so quickly to light, so when I sit in front of this screen right now or you're at outside or you're in a polluted world with uh, living in a city, whatever, off-gassing from one, a new car, I mean, the list goes on, you are... Um, it, the skin cell is actually giving up that nutrition to keep the cell healthy. So what happens is the cell doesn't get the nutrition back so we get a dis uh, like a dis uh, uh, deficiency, yeah. So it's an imbalance in the skin, and eventually, when you call on it, time and time and day and day and day, eventually the skin tries to tell you through symptoms that it's unbalanced and it needs support and health. So we always want to start looking at what the skin's made of, and that's why. A lot of companies don't tackle the storage form because it, it gives up its life for so quickly to light and air. So it has to be made under special lighting, special air. It has to have a date underneath so we, um, we know how long it's going to live for. It has to be packaged in an airless 
um, um, pump so there's no air coming in and thermal so when you pick it up in a hot climate the, the actual bottle is is kind of temperature regulated and then uh, for the international units to have any value they need to be put in the hand of a professional who knows how to prescribe it so there's a lot of moving parts which means all of those things mean it's harder for a company to sell it in masses and that's why often you want to be focusing on quality and learning who made it how how well the quality of it um and how was it shelf life like there's a lot of things that we just want to make sure we're putting on things that aren't off so if those antioxidants are off they're not going to have as much value retinols and alcohol so it can be preserved a lot easier but it's a lot more irritating to the skin so you're going to get a lot of red swollen and flaky and if you overuse retinols and especially poor qualities of them they can make the skin look more papery as you age but if you use them in good quality like this guy he's got um, a colostrum like a probiotic it's been compounded with which means it's kind of like an immune support so as it is an, an exfoliant it's also got that immune support so it's working with the microbiome of the skin so it's not as irritating as long as you've built up the storage forms um, enough so the skin is is tolerating the vitamin a a lot more efficiently because vitamin a isn't like vitamin d vitamin d doesn't need a receptor site to enter the cell vitamin a does which simply means that when you're applying high a high doses or international units so how we measure the amount of vitamin a in each um dose is by what's called an international unit so if you're using something with a very high amount of um potency or international units you are going to find that um, the skin mightn't be able to tolerate that at that point so our skin cells when we're born apparently we're born with the most amount of receptor sites on the cells um, and they they're hard to get back unfortunately so they um, kind of rust away because the vitamin a has been depleted and then the environment literally rusts it like it would a piece of metal. But the way to unrust it is to actually dose the skin with good quality esters of vitamin A. And you want more diversity. You're wanting to give the skin as many different options as possible. With food, we don't just eat broccoli all season. We want a lot of color in our vegetable family because we know when you're eating more color, you're getting more diversity of vitamins and minerals. The same with vitamin A. You're wanting to apply creams and mixing it up. You're wanting to use different combinations of vitamin A, C and E in high international units and build the skin up. So you start low and you build it up over time. So you're not getting that irritation. And those little keys are gonna unrust and they're gonna regrow more and more receptors. And we can try and get it back to that youthful skin by growing all those receptors. So when you grow them, the vitamin A enters into the actual DNA of the cell where it grows from and it repairs the damage there. So when you've got a broken um, mothership down here because of the depletion, and it's often just ignorance. We didn't know. My mum didn't know that I needed to put vitamin A on my skin after I was outside in the sun or... I mean, we didn't have a lot of screen time when I was a kid, but if you were sitting in front of a computer screen, your skin is going to be losing that antioxidant at a rapid rate. So you have to work even harder to build up the deficiency. So when we go to sleep at night, we're in a dark room. So that's when we apply our vitamins at night. That's when that skin is going to go to work and it's going to work very, very cleverly to send that vitamin A to the cells to heal. We know skin cancer cannot live in a vitamin A rich dermis, which is that lower compartment of the skin. That's really encouraging because any disease can't live in a vitamin rich skin, predominantly all the storage esters of vitamin A. Vitamin A need friends for them to be higher functional. So as you become more advanced in the program, you can be applying other ingredients to help it do its job but we'll talk about that in another video we'll talk about peptides so today i just wanted to cap on the relevance and the importance of us all chasing topical forms of vitamin a and 
getting more creative with the esters. Winter is the time to actually um, get a bit more exploring with your programming um, and getting more vitamins to be building up in that lower um, dermis because the summer, often the days are longer, we're getting more, we're more irradiated with more blue light with more artificial radiational lights so our skin's going to be more depleted so we're trying to use this time to rebuild kind of rebuilding making the skin more robust healing helping the skin um, turn over quicker getting more intelligent on how we feed it so every year we're actually undoing all the problems of the past so it's all about prevention 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 and vitamin a is your best bodyguard to prevent disease or dysfunction in skin all right, so I just wanted to cap on that. I won't go too long today. Um, please, if you have any questions, let me know. But hopefully that was a helpful. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.